my dear friends welcome to rajashekar classes on formal languages and automata theory this is lecture number 64 in this lecture we will try to understand pumping lemma for context free languages i request you to go through lecture number 32 in this lecture i discussed pumping lemma for regular languages if you understand lecture number 32 this lecture number 64 is simple and straight forward there is a similarity in between lecture number 32 and 64 but there are still there are few differences pumping lemma for context free languages is used to prove that language is not context free language there we used in there in the sense in lecture number 32 we used pumping lemma to show particular language is not regular statement if a is a context free language then a has pumping length p such that any string s whose length must be greater than or equal to p may be divided into five pieces u v x y z such that the following conditions must be true first condition u into v power i x into y power i z is in a for every i greater than or equal to 0 and v y v y length must be greater than 0 v x y length must be less than or equal to p to prove that language is not context free using pumping lemma we have to make use a technique known as proof by contradiction basically this is a negative test as i discussed in lecture number 32 in order to prove given language is not context free language we have to assume a is context free language just you have to imitate previous slide uh, just refer lecture number 32 you can understand this particular slide now we will try to understand pumping lemma with simple example show that capital l equal to a power n b power n such that n greater than or equal to 0 is not context free language as as we are using proof by contradiction i must assume it is context free language as it is context free language according to pumping lemma it l must have a pumping length say p let me choose a string s from this particular language l therefore s equal to a power p b power p c power p let me assume this p equal to 4 if p equal to 4 a power 4 b power 4 c power 4 just see a power 4 b power 4 c power 4 this particular string must be divided into five parts u v x y z now i must choose an integer a suitable integer i i therefore i let me choose i equal to 2 is an integer if i take i equal to 2 this must be u v power 2 x into y power 2 isn't it the uh, u v power 2 x into y power 2 z just i calculated this i am getting a power 6 b power 4 c power 5 but actually this is not belongs to l l in in l all strings uh, uh, must have same number of a same number of b same number of c's in case to if i split in some other manner let me split that particular string in in some other manner we are changing the split again i am taking i equal to 2 if i calculate u into v square x y square z again it is not belongs to l therefore it is uh, it is contradicting our assumption that l is context free therefore it is not context free language let me consider one more simple example prove that the following language w w w w belongs to a comma b whole star is not context free language therefore w, let me choose some string from this particular language let me assume w equal to a power n b power n therefore w w means i must write a power n b power n three times now i must split this particular string into five parts u v x y z 
a a power n means a into a into a n times b power n means b into b into b n times uh, a again a power n means a into a into a n times isn't it therefore i am considering case 1 only b is for v that i you can understand i equal to 2 just if i choose i equal to and calculate it i am getting a string of this type but if it is not belongs to l as l must have same word three times but i am not getting any word three times here if i consider this is word word but this cannot be word this is differ this word is differ from previous words therefore it is not belongs to uh, capital L again case 2 I am splitting yes into in some other way again I am calculating u v square x y square z therefore even still I am not uh, this particular string does not belongs to does not belongs to L therefore I can I, I can say uh, uh, our assumption is wrong assumption means our co assumption context free language is, is our assumption therefore uh, 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 therefore I, I can conclude we can conclude thus that L is not context free language. Thank you.